Hey, Captain Ron here. Congratulations. You've either listened to volume one of our Flight Deck Confidential series audio program, or you're about to. Volume one is all about pre-flight preparations. Now this audio will highlight some of the key points to visit as you listen. One of the things that triggers anxiety is uncertainty. In the case of a fearful flyer, that's often due to not knowing what's normal and what isn't when it comes to all the sights, sounds, and sensations of a routine flight. Now our goal here is to give you a game plan, a flight plan if you will, to some of the key learnings in this pre-flight preparations audio because you will find timestamps you can use like a checklist of the topics we cover and the key information we want you to remember. One of the keys to overcoming your fear of flying is that you really need to have some basic understanding about what is going on during all phases of your flight. If you are like the great majority of fearful flyers, you probably also suffer from anticipatory anxiety. So learning about what's going on can change that anticipatory anxiety into pure anticipation. Now what is anticipatory anxiety? Well, it just means that you're worrying about stuff in the future that you have actually no idea about whether it'll happen or not. And there's no reason for suffering because all of this is routine for people like Cap Murick and I who are trained and certified, as are the flight attendants, the mechanics, the dispatchers, and every other personnel who comes in contact with the airplane and the operation. And we all ensure that your flight is going to be safe. About a minute and a half, here you will start talking about the critical elements that both the dispatchers and we as pilots consider when we're preparing for the flight. We also pay particular attention to special maintenance considerations for an overwater or an extended operations flight. And extended operations and overwater really means a flight over which we have fewer suitable alternates in between than we would if we're flying like over the mainland North America or Europe. At about 522, we'll dive into a discussion of the role that the first officer plays in the flight planning process. So say there's two pilots, like Eric and I, if we're flying together. We're each other's most important backup system. So we give you a detailed look at what our roles are. Pay particular attention, and particularly during the pre-flight preparations. At around nine and a half minutes, our conversation turns to the flight attendants and their primary role, which is safety. We also talk about their other duties and how they communicate with us up front, including during medical emergencies, turbulence, and things like that. At about 1443, we start discussing how we set up the cockpit. This is our final prep, making sure that before we start the engines, we've got everything set up for the pre-flight checks and are getting ready to go. Specifically, we talk about ground operations and some of the details about starting the engines, routine operations, like changing power sources. We do talk about the flashing lights and the ventilation changing back and forth as we start the engines and more. So you'll really be interested in that, especially if you're a little bit claustrophobic. At around 21 and a half minutes, Captain Eric and I dive into a discussion from an insider's point of view about jet engines and what you need to know about them so that you can feel completely comfortable the next time those engines start when you fly. And then around 24 and a half minutes, the door is closing. This is a pivotal moment for many fearful flyers, especially those of you who also struggle with claustrophobia. Listen to Captain Eric and I walk you through that process and put your mind at ease. So these are just a few pointers and will help you get the most out of Flight Deck Confidential, Volume 1, which is pre-flight preparations. Don't miss Volume 2, Pushback and Taxi. We'll take you into the cockpit with us as we get the engine started and prepare to taxi toward the runway. I think you'll find the discussion about what goes on during the time between door closing and when we actually get into the air particularly interesting. You'll find out what goes on during these critical times of flight and knowing that can go a long way toward calming anticipatory anxiety and give you something in the form of actual facts to chew on instead of catastrophizing. Hey, thanks for listening and enjoy the ride.